Are you ready? Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be doing a review of the CM040i. It's the uh, Seamer version of the AK-105 Tactical. Um, so first I'll go over all the externals of the gun. So starting from the back we have the stock here with 6 precision to frame stock. Which houses the battery as well. The wires go in here. So that's really great. I like that a lot. Um, moving uh, forward, we have the buffer tube here, um, almost like an M4 buffer tube, but a bit different. Uh, I really can't tell how, but it is, it is a bit different, because it's molded to the lower receiver of this gun. Okay, so the both the upper and the lower receiver of this gun is metal, it's all metal, um, so that's really great. Um, overall, this gun is really sturdy. Uh, the hand grip here has nice texture, it's plastic, but it's really comfortable, I think. Um, the selector switch here, like a no normal AK selector. What I really like about this, because normally these AK selectors get loose at some point. Um, but this one here, you don't even need an Allen wrench or anything, you don't need anything. Just screw with your hands here if it gets uh, loose, just tighten it up by that, so that's really cool, I think. The trigger for this gun is really nice, I think. It's really crisp, and when you run an 11.1 .1 LiPo in this, it sounds so great. It feels so great. Um, and of course, maybe you ruin your gun if you run fully automatic all the time on 11.1, .1, but I do semi-automatic anyway, so. But moving forward here, we have... The Max here, this is not the original Mac that comes with the gun, you get a like, clear, like, you can look through the Mac. It's a special Mac for this gun here, With a, uh, it's a high cap, you can hold 300 rounds approximately. Um, it works fine, but I don't like that, I would rather do mid caps, it works better for me, for my play style. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that this one here uses AK-74 magazine, or 74U magazine, so it's a small caliber AK magazine. One thing that's really unique about this gun here is the charging handle, because it has the charging handle on both sides at the same time, and that's really cool. Um, it makes it a lot easier for right-handed users if this is a gas blowback or a real gun. But also just, you know, to get to the hop-up, and the hop-up is right underneath here. This is actually one great I have about this gun. Um, it seems like, or at least on my version here, that when I put, pull back the charging handle and uh, fiddle with the hop up, sometimes when I put the charging handle forward again, it catches on the hop up and it pushes it down again. And that's really annoying. But I, I can do it in a special way so it won't do that, but it's still really annoying and probably need to... Follow the bear, so I, I'll probably do that. Maybe I'll do a video for it because I don't know if this is a general problem with, with these AKs here or if it's just in my gun here, but it's really annoying. Moving forward, here we have adjustable sights, it looks like normal AK sights, but they're in front here. Really great. I like the sights overall. Then we have something really unique that's why the tactical comes in here. This is a uh, full wrist or rail whatever you're gonna call it and it's so solid it's so sturdy it's a bit heavy though but it's really nice and you can see I mounted a pack box here and a grip here uh, really comfortable and I really like that then you got the adjustable front side as well pretty basic but I like it moving even further we have the flash hider here this is something that annoys me a bit as well actually to be honest because when you get off the flash hider, when you screw it off, there's a big fretting, big fretting, and it only works for this flash hider here. So you need to use a really small Allen wrench or something to get that off, so you get into the small threading so you can mount a silencer or something. Because I really like running silencers on my guns, so that's really sad, but you know, it is what it is. If you can get that Allen wrench, it wouldn't be that hard again, but still, it's kind of a bummer, you know. The gun speed per second is 430 feet per second, sorry, but I don't have a chrono, so I can't show it for you guys, but I'm pretty sure it's around that area, you know, because it shoots pretty hard, I think. 
Um, nice to set. The trigger is really crisp. In here. And the uh, rate of fire is pretty good as well. It's not impressive or anything, but it, it works, you know. Don't need that much else. I took this gun out of the shooting range, and when I shot the gun, first I got it at uh, 50 feet, approximately, um, and I hit the target every time, both in semi-automatic and full automatic. That's pretty basic for every gun. Uh, I got back to 100 feet, um, almost the same thing. I hit almost all the targets, if not, like, probably hit all with all the BBs, both the semi-automatic and full automatic. And then uh, we got to 150 feet and I was, I would say about 80% of all the BBs hit, so it's a really accurate gun. Okay, I mentioned some grapes about this gun, so things that I didn't really like about it, but overall I would say that this gun is really nice. It's a bit heavy, and especially front heavy, though I have the battery here, so I can compensate for that. But still, with the sight on and all that, the suppressor, because I'm going to put all that shit on. It's gonna be really heavy, I think. Um, so you just need to know that if you're gonna buy this gun. I bought this gun uh, uh, off of Taiwan Gun in Poland. So I'll put a link to that. Um, but overall, I really like the gun. It's really reliable, nice trigger, really sturdy. The only thing that rattles in this is the train stock, but you kind of expect that from the CYMA gun anyways. So guys, I really hope you liked the video, and if you did, please remember to thumbs up, because uh, that would really help my channel. Also, if you have any questions about the gun or other things, or maybe you have new ideas to what I can do on my channel or something like that, uh, then please do a comment on it, and I'll try to do it, you know. Also remember to uh, hit that subscribe button, because that will really help grow my channel, and that will really motivate me to do more videos and get more gear for you guys. See ya guys.